I don't think that could have possibly gone better than it did. Really, bro? What? I thought that was supposed to heal me. Dude. <clears throat> Not cool. You, give me health back. <laughs> Thank you. That is such a useful ability. taken care of. Oh hey, did I learn something new about Plague Maidens? What? Oh, I never looked at fiends. Oh, fiends are relict, so relict oil would have worked. Sam, um, devil's puffball. Why devil's puffball? I regret to inform your grace that your grace's son fell while hunting a fiend. He died on the spot along with his squire, his guide, the beaters, his peasant entourage, and his hounds. Damn. Fiends are walking mountains of muscle capped with horned, tooth-filled heads. Like their rarer cousins, bumbakvetches, they live in thick forests, swamps, and bogs. When possible, they avoid humans, but when not possible, they kill them, and without much difficulty. Alright, so they're just giant, muscly monsters. Nothing new about Plague Maidens? Plague Maiden really doesn't look much different than the Night Wraith. Hallucinations of a woman covered in scabs and boils with rats scurrying about all around her. Raving subsided after an administration of henbane and poppy extract. So actually, now that I think about it, that makes sense. That there were rats everywhere, and it's uh, like whatever experiments were going on, it was about a disease. Spirit will sometimes walk its lands, a ghost resembling an ill woman whose flesh rots off her bones and in whose wake crawls a cavalcade of rats. No one knows whether the spirit brings the pox with her or is merely drawn to it like a moth to a light, yet it is certain that she delights in dealing pain and suffering and hearing the howling and moaning of men. Many have called into question the very existence of plague maidens or peste, okay, there we go, as they are sometimes called. Only two sightings of such a creature have ever been recorded, both during times of raging ep epidemic. But obviously, Geralt knows that they are, in fact, a thing. As the name Plague Maiden suggests, these wraiths take the appearance of females, though exactly why that is remains a mystery. Some speculate they, like other such specters, arise from the powerful emotional charge associated with certain circumstances of death, such as death preceded by a long and particularly painful illness. We know that to be the case here. Not much is known about how to fight a Plague Maiden, though one can assume they possess many traits in common with other phantoms and wraiths. They undoubtedly pose a great danger, though a witcher's immunities should at least prevent him from catching the contagious illnesses they carry. Alright. Whoops. Yeah. Annabelle. Oh wow. I could not see her, definitely. How do I know what she looks like? <laughs> Wait, didn't her ghost have long hair? Well, I guess it would make sense to, to assume that her hair wasn't uh, done up all pretty like that when she was dying. Geralt encountered this young woman's ghost in the uppermost room in the haunted tower on Fike Isle. She told him that in life she had been the local lord's daughter. When enraged peasants stormed the tower, she feared they would ravage her honor if they found her alive, and so took a magic potion that put her in a corpse-like state of paralysis. I thought she said that the... Uh, that Alexander gave her the potion and told her to take it without telling her what it is. Also, 
wouldn't that just make it easier for them to ravage her honor? When she awoke, she found herself lying amidst the bodies of her family and servants, unable to move. She watched in a helpless horror as rats feasted on the pile of corpses and began to nibble on her as well. Oh god, just thinking about it. That is the worst possible way you could die. Ah, oh, just can you imagine? This grisly death must have somehow put a curse on her in the tower, for her ghost had wandered in it restless in it in rest had wandered it in restless torment ever since. Geralt engaged his vast experience with such curses to search for a possible solution. Having learned that Annabelle had loved a simple fisherman named Graham, Graham, whatever, Geralt decided this man and the bond of true love the two youths shared could be their salvation. Sorry. Perhaps there was something in the girl's words that had put Geralt on his guard, or perhaps his witcher instincts simply warned him in time. Either way, Geralt knew what he was dealing with a literal second before Annabelle revealed her true nature. The spirit was in fact a pesta, a plague maiden, a terrible wraith which, which spreads death and pestilence. You can't really blame her though, right? I mean, sure, it's her current fault for doing what she's doing, not that she's do really doing much to anyone, so there's not actually anyone on the island, but uh... Yeah, I mean, what happened to her is pretty horrible. This guy also looks familiar. Graham was a simple fisherman from an even simpler village, Oriton, yet the role he had played in local events was anything but. Fike Isle, the tower, the curse, he had been a key part of it all. Geralt had learned from Annabelle that the deep feelings the two about the deep feelings the two had shared, but the rest of their tragic story only emerged later. Exactly how the young man had, had participated in the incident in the tower remained rather unclear. What was certain was that he had tried to defend his beloved and fled Fike Isle right after what he thought was her death. Alright. I wonder, can I meditate on a boat? Wait, I'm not on the boat yet. I'm sure I can't, but... kind of want to try it. Let's get out of way a safe distance from this island. Get out of way a safe distance from this island. There we go. The button is being finicky, it would seem. Oh, hey. Is that the, is that the port right there? Yeah, that's not far at all. That light is on. Oh, that's creepy. Right, let's see, can we... Ah, we can, sweet. I just get an hour or two's meditation in. Even that would help rest him up at least a little bit. Can't do that now. Okay. What if I leave the helm? I'm guessing I still can't, but worth a shot. Oh, sweet, I can. Oh, that's so cool. You can meditate on the boat. You know, it would be cool. It would have been really cool if there was, like, if you got some sort of bonus for meditating. Like, if for, if for 12 or 24 hours, in-game hours, after you meditate, you got some sort of, like, experience bonus or stamina bonus or something. Because, you know, that would make sense. If you get, uh... What, what is my boat doing? You know, whatever. <laughs> This'll do. But you know, that would make sense. Be well rested, you'll do better in, well, any given situation. Interact? Oh, what? <laughs> you can just chill here on the other side of the boat? That's cool. To talk. You death, damn it! I told you. Who are you?
I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Wanna to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means... is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time? Oh, poor but... man. It can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. We shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. God, she hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, go to the tower, talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. <laughs>